Hey everyone, okay, so I'm going to go over the uh, patch notes for Revulsion today, uh, which is the 13th of January, and uh, uh, I'm going to go over uh, some of the details and kind of show off uh, the, some of the abilities that I didn't get to show off last time, um, because they weren't, they didn't exist yet, or at least, you know, they were only ideas. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about the actual patch notes right up here on my Steam It blog. Um, uh, 10 new booster special abilities as well as other fixes and changes to the game. Um, there was actually a bit of feedback about making it so that whenever you do a blueprint, to have it like random, like a random chance that it'll, the item might be higher quality when you craft a blueprint. But there's a there's another bug that I, I kind of introduced when I uh, made it so that the blueprints are no longer consumed. Uh, I didn't account for the fact that the blueprints are not corrected for levels. So the higher level you are, and, and I'm gonna, in the next patch, the higher level you are, the more expensive the blueprint will become. <laughs> so there's gonna be a constant uh, going up in value, which, uh, it all kind of aligns to making sure that it takes a certain amount of time in order for you to be able to craft stuff at every level. Because the higher level you are, the more money you accrue as well, so um, everything just kind of evens out. As it currently stands right now, it's actually more efficient for you to just create, recreate the item if you have a bunch of resources than it does to uh, to upgrade the old one. <laughs> it's cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'm, I might be miscalculating on that in terms of the uh, raw materials and stuff like that. Um, I hope uh, I hope also, too, that like people understand that uh, why I'm kind of like leaving my, my, my YouTube channel. Because it really, like, maybe I should be posting these blog thingies just, just at least secondary on YouTube because... Um, there are quite a few people who are fans of this and maybe a little bit more people who see it, but I'm already pretty happy with the numbers as far as, like, how well the game is doing. I mean, it's not doing that great. It's selling, like, five copies a day. But for me, that's actually a lot. That's that's actually pretty good um, because I have, like, no costs right now. So, yeah, between if I sell, if I sell like, 15 copies in one day, I'm like, whoa, <laughs> damn, <laughs> that... That's actually pretty fucking good. Um, so I haven't really exactly been worried about getting more people on board or advertising, which I know is totally stupid, and I should probably change that. Uh, maybe I'll convince myself to start po putting these blogs, um, you know, double posting them up on onto uh, YouTube as well. But all right, anyway, f for right now, let's get back to the actual game. Um, so is it is now impossible to swap out gear, boosters, and specials when your uh, when your booster or special action is on cooldown. Um, this is actually before I fixed this. There was a huge exploit where you can just like you can depending on like you, when you use an ability, you can just like click off your current booster, and then you can just swap another booster on, and then use that one, and then use the other one. Which uh, it still costs AP, so. It's not exactly like it was totally free, but I, I don't want that kind of uh, thing. The only thing is, is I went a little bit too overboard with it, and I'm going to try and, and pull back on the next patch. Uh, the reason why I went overboard is because I don't let you swap anything out, even your guns and shit. And if you have an ability with a really long cooldown, like Recall, which is a uh, 99 second re uh, cooldown, only after you use it, you, you won't even be able to like switch your gun. Um, I'll, I'll make sure that I try and fix that. I'll, I'll try to get one more patch where I go through any stupid fixes and go over any feedback. Um, you know, stuff like that. Booster and special actions now display a small message in the bottom right of the screen. So, let me get to the test level. So if you look to the bottom right over here, whenever I use a, my vampirism, you see that little message that pop, pops up? 
and I have vampirism up now, and if there was an enemy in front of me, which there currently are none in the test level. Uh, you see the message actually appearing. Okay. That's a really simple thing, but it, it adds up. I may actually do something similar. Uh, I don't know, I'm kind of thinking about it, but I might actually do a similar message for whenever you gain items in your inventory. It just displays a little message. I know that a lot of games do that, so I'm, I, I'm not against the idea of doing the same, but it's kind of low priority. Blueprints are no longer consumed and crafted. I already went over that. It is now impossible to hold multiple of the same blueprint. Now, um, maybe something I could do in line with the feedback that I got about having higher quality is like if you have multiple of the same blueprint, maybe, maybe that can make the item craft at a higher quality or something. I could do that. That'd be pretty fucking cool. Oh shit. All right, let me write that down. I just thought of it right now. Yeah, actually, I'll respond. Stacking blueprint makes uh, increases quality. Although, is that really a good idea? Because you're not really gaining something that you couldn't just do through additional actions. I mean, it doesn't really... It, it would end up having to be at a higher cost, maybe? I don't know. It's a tough, that's a tough call. Well, uh, well, anyway, right now, as it's implemented right now, um, you can't hold multiple of the same blueprint. You used to be able to do this because they were consumed when unused, but now it's more like a collection. I might even make it so that in your inventory, it just displays the total number of blueprints in the game versus how many you have, and it's like you're trying to collect them all. Uh, water no longer gets you stuck in crouching mode. Um, if you uh, if you crouched while you were in the water in the under tunnel sequence, it would cause you to get stuck crouching. And that's all fixed now. And that was all fixed because I had to rework functionality on how the traces were done with bullets and, and movement. and There was a bunch of like basic things that all ended up coming up because of the bulwark shield functionality. Which I'll, I already showed. I showed it in the last video. New functionality is in place for impact effects and magical metal character types. This allows me to. So this is going to allow me to do uh, magical enemy types, which is going to be very important for episode two. But also robots and uh, other things. I do want to have factions, and I do want, like, hypothetically, if I can get as, <laughs> if I can get as far as doing an episode three in this game, then the third episode would be come out of hell and out of the hell section and then there's like a really crazy futuristic sort of military base that um has actual like robots and shit and now when you shoot the robots they actually uh you see like sparks come off of them and when you shoot mag uh, magical creatures you'll see like blue flares come out of them like they're like the bullets are are dealing damage to them uh, but it's not like spurting blood so uh that functionality is in place. Orbital Strike ability has been greatly improved. Yes. Uh, now you can use Orbital Strike when you're in areas that are a lot more confined. And it's uh, it's pretty nice. Um, it's, a, it's a really huge boost to the ability. The ability was always really good, but you couldn't use it very often. But now, now you can. The rockets practically spawn on top of the enemy. Um, so it's just literally like I can cause explosions on, a, on any point that I'm looking at on the ground. Status effects now display I, um, icon to indicate uh, buff or debuff. This is really simple. This is one of those things you probably wouldn't even notice. But notice when I have vampirism up, where if I zoom in, you see the, the, the green uh, arrow facing upwards, or the triangle facing upwards, and then there's a red triangle facing downwards whenever it's a debuff. It's really, 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 really basic stuff that just helps a tiny little bit. Okay, so the new um, booster abilities added. I could talk about these a little bit. Um, Aegis Recovery slows you down on movement. I've already gone through all of these uh, in the last video. Vampirism, Transmutation. I will say, though, that if you have something like Aegis Recovery, I, I want I want people to, to 
to kind of be thinking about the best combinations. So, like, you have your booster, and then you have your special. And, like, what kind of specials work really well with the booster? And in the case of Aegis Recovery, is it, is it Aegis? Recovery is that uh, you... Uh, you, you move slower, you're harder, you, you have more defense, and your health is regenerating slowly, and it takes a little bit longer than the other effects. Well, if you have uh, equipment that makes you run faster, or if you have uh, the sprinters or runners high um, special action, then Aegis Recovery becomes really good, because now you're like moving almost at normal speed, and, not, and you're also impenetrable, basically, to most... Uh, uh, stuff. You still have to be careful, though. Transmutation. Uh, currently in the patch right now, I'm not happy with it, but it converts armor into health, and it doesn't have a very high uh, AP cost. But the co most of the cost is sort of off, you know, off shot onto your your armor. At the moment, it's a little bit underpowered. But the way you're supposed to use this ability is in combination with a with a, a special action that tends to be more AP hungry, and you know something that requires a lot more AP. So you, you know, this goes well with that. But it's also supposed to be used um, proactively and not reactively. That's uh, so a lot of people who use this are going to think that that it's extremely underpowered. But I actually think it's underpowered in terms of I, I just miscalculated a little bit. Um, this is actually a healing ability that you're supposed to use before you take damage, not while you're getting reamed. Like most players. You know, they, they run into an area and they like, they get, you know, nailed by like a chain gunner or something and just choose through all their health and then they reactively like hit their, their healing ability and that's how they recover. Uh, transmutation, you'll be fucked if you do it that way. You're supposed to use it, it's supposed to be used, it's supposed to be used before you end up in that situation and, and in which case your health will be recovered over 100%. And your armor won't be that far down, and you'll survive probably a little bit better than usual. But it's not worth it, it, it. Currently, it's a little bit underpowered, and the next patch, the next quick patch that I put out, will address that. Vampirism, uh, pretty much straightforward. Drains health. Pink, cute hearts fly out of the enemies. It's pretty funny. A lot of people uh, <laughs> see the art style of the game and just kind of like. What is this? It's supposed to be cute. Or is it supposed to... Why is it kicking my ass? It looks like Minecraft. Minecraft never kicked my ass. You never fought the Ender Dragon, probably. Super buff. Um, super buff is kind of like the steroids. I didn't want to call it steroids, but it's, you know, basically uh, heals your health up above 100%. And it's really... It also causes your health pool to be really big. It's also really costly and has a really long cooldown. But it just heals a lot at once, and will always put you over 100%. Um, it's a pretty good, it's a pretty good ability, especially if you probably pair it with enduring armor. Because it's percentage based, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, actually. Oh shit, I might have to look into that. I think uh, when paired with enduring armor, it might not work correctly. Um, I'll have to take the take a look at that. It does <laughs> it's kind of funny? I'm looking at the patch notes, making more patch notes. Um, super buff works effectively. Well, I gotta have to test this to make sure that it's correct. Enduring armor. There should be a um. There should be a, uh, a, 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 that should actually be a really good uh, effective combo. If you have a lot of enduring armor, then a super buff should, should be even better. Uh, okay, so damage reflection, I showed that. That just bounces the, you know, the damage back at the enemy. There's probably weird things that you can do where you purposely take lots and lots of damage by not wearing armor or some shit like that and using super buff. Um, <laughs> where you can just, like, two-shot an enemy that you'd normally have a hard time killing. Uh, roller bombs, they're just really fun little bomb, uh, rolly bomb thingies that, that, uh, are supplemental damage. That's one of the other things, too, about the damage special abilities. Um, all of these, all of the damage that comes from your abilities is supplemental. In other words, it's, 
it's it meant to go with your combat. Like if you just drop down a gun turret, or if you drop down a, uh, you know, um, anything that does damage, like dark seed or 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 the fucking orbital strike. They're really not meant to be the only thing that you're doing. They're meant to be something that happens in combination, you know. Um, I guess that's not supplemental. What I mean is, is uh, combined. Like, what's the correct terminology for that? Well, anyway, um, Bulwark Shield drops a Reinhardt Shield in front of you. If you're familiar with uh, Orisa from Overwatch, you basically got that. Um, Dark Seed switches in places with the enemy, slows down time as you watch the enemy get blown up. It's hard ability to use correctly, but it's actually pretty cool if you can. Uh, this is one. This one's going to be hit pretty hit or miss. Um, I'm not literally, but it's going to be pretty hit or miss with a lot of people because it's tricky to use it correctly. You have to be next to a big clump of enemies, and there has to be one enemy off to the di off in the distance, and then you swap places, and then that enemy will just like obliterate all the other enemies. Um, the gun turret is fucking phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, but it's also, you know, it's it, it's not gonna do all of the damage for you. You have to you have to still be shooting. You still have to be helping it out. But the gun turret's probably one of the better abilities that I know of. Now, recall, recall has a little bit of nuance to it. So let me show off the gun turret and recall in action. Okay. Let me spawn some zombies. So, you know, simple enemies that aren't going to give me any real trouble. You guys are going to see my horrible fucking implementation of the uh, spawning list, which is now getting polluted by things other than just enemies, which I'm probably going to have to put an enumerator in and, and like, clean it up a little bit. Anyway, um, okay, so those that's those guys right there. Alright, so, right now I have vampirism, I have a gun turret. Okay, so let me show the gun turret first. Oh, these guys are fucking level 40, what did I do? <gasps> I'm in New Game Plus! I'm in New Game Plus! No! No. So they can't be that high level. Let me uh, bump them down to... Well, in New Game Plus, they would have to be like level... Negative... Two? I know this doesn't make any sense. Yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I accidentally... Well, last night I was testing to make sure that the level cap was working correctly with New Game Plus and stuff. So... That's pretty much it. You get one of these little guys, they take damage, they, you know, the timer lasts for a certain amount of time. You can run in, uh, drop one of these down. They don't really distract the enemies, but they do take damage, so... At the moment, the turret can shoot you and deal damage. Um, but that's, uh, yeah. Uh, they last for a pretty decent amount of time. Um, I th I imagine it's going to be a pretty interesting uh, thing to use during the boss fights because you'll have to like figure out a really good spot to put it during the best phases of the battle where it doesn't end up getting obliterated because of something, you know, some AOE or some shit like that. And uh, yeah, so that's the that's the gun turret. Now let me show recall. Now, recall is an idea that I didn't actually come up with. This was something that came from the forums. The people who were giving feedback. There was one... There was, oh, these are all level 40. <laughs> Alright, I could, I could show off... Uh, uh, it's so weird. I can show off the... Uh, I could show off recall without having to actually have a enemies or a special character or something. Yes, I just deleted my game. Uh
let me begin the game. I should probably do a couple videos of me just playing. Okay. Anyway, back to my test level. The cavernous depths will not be in episode one. I know you are probably reading that. It's a big giant underground cave area, but I'm actually cutting the, uh, I'm going to cut it. I want to do something different. Alright, I got all my ammo types. Alright, let me, let me grab my old rusty pistol. Alright, piece of shit. Um. <laughs> okay, so, here's a recall, and. These guys should all be looking. 15? Wait, what? That's a little weird. Um. Oh, I'm level 20. <laughs> I was expecting to be level 1 for some reason. So. How recall works is when I place it down, you'll see how the timer is stuck at 99 and then this little thingy appears on the ground. You see that? Um, that's a spawn marker and you'll notice up in the top left there's a recall active uh, thingy. Now this is a functionality that can be extended to multiple things, it doesn't have to necessarily be just this ability. Um, this recall functionality is actually part of the player controller at this point in time, so there are other things that can actually be used. Like, one of the suggestions was that I would have the ability to, you know, give the player the ability to go up to a certain kind of, like, kiosk or some kind of, like, vending machine where you can buy a respawn um, when you die and stuff like that. But the respawn ability itself has extra functionality on top of that which is based on its actual potency. In other words, there's there's a little bit more to this to this ability than meets the eye. Uh, for for example, you don't have to use it when you die. You can actually press the ability a second time, and you notice my health is overhealed right now, right? Well, it restores 50% of your health if it's an equal of uh, you know if if the item is equal to your level. All right. So you could be in trouble, take a little bit of damage, and you can actually use recall in an emergency to get out of a bad situation. However, if you die, recall will automatically kick in. But you won't get any of the benefits. So it's just like a it's like a nice bonus if you do end up in a really shitty situation and you end up getting killed. Oh, I don't have a gun. Um, if you do end up getting into a shitty situation. Uh, you won't, you'll still respawn, but you're not, you're going to get, like, really shitty amount of health back, and it's not going to overheal you. And in fact, it'll pretty much put you at 25%, or less. I think it's actually less. So, you, um, it, you really want to try to use the ability rather than just rely on it to, you know, get you out of a, of, of a bad spot. And you want to use it rather than get killed. So there is there is a bit to keep in mind with the recall ability. Although I will say it is one of the better abilities. Um, just messing around with it quite a bit, I've I've noticed that there is there's a lot to be said because a lot of the times, especially if you have like your booster ability is something that slows you down, like uh, Aegis Shield or Aegis Recovery here. So like, this like, this ability slows you down. So if you end up in a bad situation, and you're like, shit, I need to get out of this, I need to get out of this, and the enemies are just like, beating you up, and you're like, ah, oh, I suck at this game, you can, you can use it to get out, and you get a little bit of health back. And notice, when you, when you recover, you, uh, you're not, like, when you use it, it, you heal as well. Um, now, 
let's see what happens when I when I don't use it and I just let it happen. So I gotta I gotta get killed. All right. Uh, naked level twenty, getting beaten up by zombies. Oh wait, I didn't use the ability to. Okay, hold on a second. Let me use it. Ow! Get all the way over here. Ah, uh, pathfinding at its finest. I guess. Oh god! Uh, see, now look at how low my health is. I'm like still in a lot of trouble. Hey, he's beating up one of the other zombies. It's a little weird seeing the zombies attack each other like that. So that pretty much shows that. Now notice that um, that's the other weird thing about this. At this point in time, recall is the only ability in the entire game that depends on you to use the ability twice. So the first time, the cooldown stays at 99 seconds, and it, and then after that, uh, once you use the ability, that's when the cooldown actually begins. Um, okay, so that's pretty much that, uh, for all of that. There are some additional things. See their eyes are from the, um, see their eyes are from, are one of the enemy projectile enemy types that come out of the beholders, and currently the, the homing seethers are not killable. I don't know why, but the game's a little bit harder right now. It's unintentional. It's kind of shitty. Uh, I do intend to actually fix that in the next patch. I don't know what the hell's going on. It's probably a collision issue. Transmutation is underpowered. Already talked about it. Blueprints need increasing crafting costs and level. Already talked about it. Credit HUD indicator is cut off. Uh, yeah, that's kind of annoying. I'm going to put the credit HUD counter in a different spot. Warehouse change... <laughs> Nobody noticed this bug. Nobody noticed this. I spelled warehouse wrong. I spelled warehouse wrong. And, and the game's been out for for a long time, and people have been playing, and I never touched it again. Nobody nobody questioned whether or not I spelled warehouse right. <laughs> I didn't even notice. <laughs> well, it's it's already corrected in the current build, but. Um, okay, so with all that said, I think I'm going to have to, uh, uh, end this now. I got everything out that I wanted to talk about, and, uh, hope you guys enjoy, and, uh, stay tuned for more. I'm going to continue doing more on the DTube series. If you're seeing this on YouTube, uh, you know, I'm, I'm glad you're seeing it, uh, but, I mean, I, I really, really prefer being on, on the Steam at DTube thing, because... Well, it's just been so good to me. Like, it's been just really amazing. And I'm also pretty heavily invested in it as well. So with that said, I uh, hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for more. And, you know, all that stuff. Oh, and, and, and enjoy the game.